Let me show you how to fix low story views on Instagram and skyrocket your reach again. If you're new around here, my name's Josh. I've built dozens of pages on Instagram into the hundreds of thousands of followers for myself and clients. And now I make these videos twice a week to help you grow and succeed on Instagram. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy. So there are two main reasons why your story views are low. Let me explain. The first one is all about how the story algorithm works. A quick backstory, on Instagram, there are many different algorithms. You have a separate algorithm that ranks content for the home feed, for the explore feed, for stories, for hashtags. They all have their own one that ranks things weighting different factors as more or less important. This is because people want different things on different parts of the platform. When it comes to stories, one of the most important factors that the algorithm looks at is the connection between the person viewing and the person posting the story, which is oftentimes more important than the actual content itself that is going onto the story. A boring piece of content posted by your best friend that you talk to every day on the DMs and you like all their photos is going to rank higher than an incredibly engaging, interesting piece of content that's posted from someone you followed a year ago but have never engaged with. Then, for example, on the Explore page, it's the other way around. It's less about who posted the content and more about how engaging it is. This is because on stories, people want to see content from accounts, creators, and people that they know, like, and trust. It's a more raw form of content where you're sort of trying to keep up with what's happening as opposed to be stimulated with new ideas. Now a user's connection to the account can be measured in a lot of different ways, but mostly it comes down to how they engage with the content and how strong that engagement is. But mostly it comes down to how often they engage with that person's content, as well as how strong that engagement is. For example, are they just liking a post and scrolling, or are they watching the video the whole way through to the end and then giving it a like? So where am I heading with this? It may sound obvious, but the best and most foolproof way to increase your story views sustainably and for the long term is to better your connection with your audience. Make sure you're posting more content that they're interacting with. And if they are interacting with it, leaving a comment and so on, sharing it with a friend, make sure you're replying to those and building up a bit of a conversation and building that community aspect. Really nurture that community because you'll notice any page that has got a strong community where there's a lot of discussion going on the posts, there's a lot of comments, there's a lot of people replying to comments, there's a bit of back and forth going on, they're replying to DMs, they're running polls on their stories that people are interacting with. If you see any of these pages with a strong community, none of them suffer from low story views. With the exception of accounts that post a lot of viral style content and don't have a consistent engaged audience and somewhat rely on going viral, getting a lot of views that way from one group of people and then another post going viral to a new group of people and never really maintaining the same audience. We have had that issue in the past with one of my accounts, Millionaire Dream, but not really anymore. Now, if you can build those core fans who engage with all of your posts because they're invested in your brand and your account, they'll likely be shown every single one of your stories. And as these true fans accumulate and grow, you'll just be getting more and more and more and more story views. Now, that's the somewhat obvious one out the way. The second one, which is less important, but still will help you a lot, is about the actual content you're posting in your stories. These are usually not as important as the actual connection with the audience in the first place. That is the most important, but this is still a big fact. And how engaging the content is can help you reach more of those people who might be on the fringes of your community, turn them into true fans and just build. For example, an averagely engaging story post might only reach your truest, most engaged fans. However, if you take a bit of time to come up with something a little bit more creative, a little bit more engaging, then because it is more engaging, the cumulative score to the algorithm is going to push it out to more of those people. And then maybe they start showing it to people who engage with half of your content or a quarter of your content because the story is more engaging. So if you want to bump up these story views consistently, more engaging stories is the way to go. Another word you could use to replace engaging and potentially a better word is interactive. That's what you're really looking for. That's why you see a lot of accounts nowadays posting these would you prefer stories where it might be, I don't know, a penthouse and then a house in the woods, like a nice place in the woods. And it's like, would you prefer the city life or the country life? Or they might post between two different types of fashion or two different cars or summer versus winter, skiing versus swimming, whatever it might be. 
and you vote on which one you prefer. It's a form of engagement that signals to Instagram the, this story is keeping people engaged and stimulated by the content and that these people voting on the story are somewhat invested in what this account has to say. So that's good, but you do wanna get a bit more personal than just sort of generic photos. You wanna learn how you can make it a habit that is involved in all of your content. And the two most powerful forms of interaction you wanna be looking at to try and increase, which will then lead to a big increase in story views and engagement in your regular content is going to be story polls and story replies. Story poll responses are pretty easy to get. Pose a question to your audience that is relevant to your niche or your life with the ability for people to vote and give their opinion and their answers on a poll. It could be industry specific like what are you struggling with the most on Instagram? And then I would have growth or monetization as the two options people could vote on. Not only does this bring me more engagement, which then boosts my story views, and not only does it also improve the relationship that Instagram sees between my audience and me, because these people are interacting with my account and therefore should show them my other content, but it also gives me as a creator more data on my audience that I can use to make better content to further grow my audience. Because if I see 80% of people are voting that are struggling with monetization, I can start switching up some content. So instead of it being focused on growth, I'm focused on how can you monetize an audience? How can you build your own offer? How can you create a sales funnel to sell a product? What product should you sell? Etc. And so it gives me a ton of content ideas that I know my audience are interested in, which means it should get more than average engagement, which the, the whole thing is just a cycle that sort of fuels itself. You could also post something less niche specific and a bit more just personal about yourself and let people ask. Maybe you're taking the day off on a Sunday and you post the question, do you take Sundays off to recharge and you have people vote? Or if you were a weirdo like myself and you shaved your head uh, randomly during the lockdowns last two years ago, um, I found a memory of that come up on my phone and so I posted it on my story and said, hey, should I do this again? The answer was always gonna be no, personally, but I was just interested to see what people would say and have a bit of a laugh. This here is the responses. The story got about 40% more views than a normal story on that account did at the time. Uh, and that is purely because there was a poll on it. Now with the more niche specific polls, you can almost supercharge this strategy by adding a question box as well for people to submit questions or feedback or elaborate on their answer. Then you can go ahead and start sharing some of these answers to your community and it really builds things. Now all of a sudden, one post you made about a topical idea of what do you think of Johnny Depp's trial, for example, uh, and it's like, who's in the right, Johnny or whoever his partner was, Amber, I think. People can vote, you know, Johnny, Amber, whatever her name is. And then you can have a question box where people submit their thoughts, their opinions, and you start sharing some of those. And you start like, you know, someone might say, hey, Johnny was completely in the right because of this. You share that response. And then you can have another poll. It's like, you know, do you agree with this? And then people are reacting to that. And you can do that with four or five or six or 10 different answers. And you've got all of this content getting pushed out there that's getting a lot of interaction and skyrocketing your story views, as well as building more of a connection with your audience. Because now the more that people are seeing your stories, the more they're likely to engage with your feed content. And that cycle just continues. This is something that a friend of mine, Sim, from Girls That Invest, does really, really well on Instagram. So shout out to her, a fellow New Zealander who's doing really, really well in the digital space. What she does is they might share a poll similar to that, but related to investing because that's what their account is all about. They might post about Netflix's shares going down by 30% and they might you know, include a poll. What do you think of this? Is it a buying opportunity? Should you be getting out before it falls further? And then they might have a question box under that where people can throw in their own thoughts. And then people might come in with all of these different ideas. Like some people might be saying it's a great time to buy. Some people might be saying it's a great time to sell. Some people might be saying all of these different things. And then they will go and share some of those responses. And instead of having like a closed off, I agree with this, this is right, this is wrong, they'll have very open-ended sort of responses that spur on even more engagement. They might have something like, this is a good point, I never looked at it this way. 
and that encourages people to reply to the story maybe agreeing with them or maybe disagreeing or they might have another poll like someone might bring up an interesting point about you know netflix lost all these users but maybe something else good is on the horizon so it's a good time to get in cheap and they might post that and it's like do you agree yes or no and you're just fueling this engagement, building the community and building a really strong brand. And that's part of the reason why their accounts are absolutely smashing it and they've built one of the biggest finance podcasts in the world. It's because they've fostered a really strong community through doing things like this. So that's two ways that you can fix low story views. One, make sure the content you're posting in your feed is really good, is engaging, and you're building a community, responding to questions, responding to comments, responding to DMs, really nurturing that following so that you've got a stronger connection with people, which means your stories will rank higher in their feed, you will get more story views. Then on top of that, making sure your stories are actually engaging and interesting so people engage with them and Instagram push it out to more and more people. Now, if you want more daily tips, tricks, and insights into building your own following on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. I'm posting every day new tips, ideas, strategies, news, updates, etc. I will leave a link down below. Also, I just launched my new podcast every week. I'm sitting down and chatting with a successful digital entrepreneur about how they made it and sharing their best insights. So that'll also be linked down below. Go check it out. I really appreciate it. That's it from me. See you all in the next one.